I pray in America in Tuesday morning, afternoon, and night. I see shooting. I pray in Jesus. Amen. Police here fired off several rounds after a driver tried to escape a traffic stop and ended up dragging an officer with his car. Shards of glass cut that officer's hand, but he is otherwise okay. The night didn't stop there, though. Police raced from this scene to another shooting, a bloody end to a particularly violent day. Police scour the intersection of 167th Street and Walton Avenue, where around 6.30 p.m. Tuesday, police officers tried to stop a gray car, but the driver tried to flee and dragged an officer. Police then opened fire, but the suspect got away. I was here working, and one of my co-workers was outside, and he said, yeah, I'll come, there's a shootout going on. So we quickly went outside, and we saw the police car driving around. Residents say they heard about six gunshots. Very quick. Yeah. Yeah, you Okay, one, two, three. I'm concerned because this is where I work, so <laughs> it's scary. <laughs> Police were soon called from this scene to another shooting just blocks away where three men were shot around 8.30 p.m. on Mount Eden Avenue. Two of them are fighting for their lives. But Tuesday's violence began much earlier. Around 8 a.m. in Queens, a 30-year-old woman was shot in the leg by a stray bullet while she was sleeping in her friend's apartment in Far Rockaway. A few hours later on the Lower East Side, a 75-year-old woman was grazed by a bullet while walking on Clinton Street. Investigators are looking for the four suspects who took off in a car. Back in Queens around 4 p.m., another woman was shot in Far Rockaway. She was struck in the head and taken to the hospital in serious condition. And three hours later, a man in Washington Heights was hospitalized after being shot twice in the leg. Before this week even started, shootings were up 28% citywide compared to this time last year and up 52% compared to two years ago. And in the midst of all this, the NYPD is shuffling to redeploy more than 600 existing officers into the subways. We are, um, you know, scratching, if you will, across the city to make sure we are uh, getting as many people as we can out to keep New Yorkers safe. But I think we're in good shape. Back here in the Bronx, it's unclear why officers were trying to stop that car in the first place, but investigators are still searching for that driver, as well as investigating the motive for the triple shooting in Mount Eden. From the high bridge section of the Bronx, Allie Bauman, CBS2 News.